Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Uh, today, we're going to be cleaning up the uh, the back deck here. Uh, it is fall here in Northern Ontario, and uh, it's a little cold, but it seems like it's going to be one of our last nice days of the uh, uh, for a long time. So we're going to try to build a pergola, but first we've got to clean up some, some plants here in the backyard. And... Uh, we got a bunch of cuts to make. We got some six by sixes out front. Uh, so I'm gonna grab my uh, my saw and uh, bring that up to the front, get a little bit organized, and we'll be right back. So a garage is an absolute disaster, but this is the wood that we have. Six by sixes, 16 feet long, uh, eight feet long, and six feet long. Some four by four bracing. And then we have the roof rafter. It's in the shape of a timber frame, uh, but it's just going to be screwed together with some uh, timber locks or some uh, wood fastening bolts. Uh, they're not really timber locks, not the brand name anyway. Uh, they're what our local hardware store had. Uh, so here we go. I'm not going to be able to make this in one cut. What we are going to do is uh, cut this and then roll it. We'll have to realign it as best as we can. And uh, here we go. Obviously, we're not going for perfection. We're just trying to get this built, uh, just to enjoy some time in the back uh, backyard. But. Uh okay, so after I make this cut, I have this little jig that I've got set up for to cut these at 36 inches so I don't even have to measure after the first one. So all the major cuts are done. We do have two more cuts left to do, but it's just starting to, to rain. It wasn't supposed to rain today at all, and that's why we we're trying to get this done. Uh, so I'm gonna set that up in the garage. We're gonna get all this stuff moved in and set up. So we're all done with that saw and the table. We're gonna put that all away. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use my router for this. I have to mark across and across and across and across. Uh, and then I'll probably give it one cut with the circular saw and then I'm going to router it out. 
or at least try. Disconnect the power when adjusting this. Okay, well, that's, uh, we've got these all uh, notched out, ready to move these to the back. It's not raining yet, so we're going to try our luck and move these to the back. Let's see what happens. All right, so all the wood is cut. We've got some cleanup to do back here. We're going to get started. Uh, we're going to line up the, uh, the bents here, uh, get them all screwed together. We have some holes to drill and all that good stuff. Uh, here we go. So we got that joint pretty tight. Got the screws in the back and we're gonna pull that one in. in in here that all mine lined up I'm gonna give it a measure just to make sure but uh, it's 36 inches across so so we use some 10 inch uh, strong drive timber screws to connect the six by sixes and now I'm gonna switch to the eight inch 
to mount the 4x4s for the bracing in the corner. <clears throat> I'm going to check this for square again. It's really good. Okay, so the two bents are together and uh, we just need to stand them up. Uh, I need to add in a little bit of bracing here uh, so that they're stable and they don't blow over. I'm gonna go find some material for that.
Well, that's it for our uh, timber frame uh, pergola here in the backyard, guys. Uh, we do have to put up the rafters, but we'll do that on another day. We're kind of running out of uh, daylight and it's my wife's birthday today. So this is kind of a birthday present for her. Uh, didn't quite get it done, but uh, Elijah was here to give me a hand. Yep. Stole him away from doing school. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, well, that's it, guys. Uh, if you like this one, uh, give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and it would sure be great if you'd subscribe to the channel today. And until the next one, keep living the Northern Life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.